The Hawker Centre is an open-air complex in Singapore. It houses many stores to sell a variety of inexpensive food. They are usually found near public housing estates or transport hubs such as bus interchanges or train stations. Hawker Centres sprung up due to urbanisation in the 1950s and 1960s. They were built partly to address the problem of unhygienic food preparation by unlicensed street hawkers. In the 1950s and 1960s, Hawker centres were considered to be a venue for the less affluent. Many hawker centres were poorly managed by their operators, often lacking running water and proper facilities for cleaning. More recently, hygiene standards have improved with pressure from the local authorities. This includes the implementation of licensing requirements where a sufficient standard of hygiene is required for the store to operate and rewarding exceptionally good hygiene. Upgrading or reconstruction of hawker centres was initiated in the late 1990s in Singapore. In year 2001, National Environment Agency, NEA, embarked on an upgrading program for hawker centres. As many hawker centres were built more than 15 years ago, many of them are in poor condition. The upgrading program will improve the ventilation of the hawker centre and there will be replacement of tables and stools. Hawker centres form an important part of Singapore's lifestyle. Therefore, there is a need to preserve and upgrade the hawker centres. Let's hear what some people have to say about the hawker centres then and now. Okay, uh, before renovation, I feel that the uh, hawker centre is really dirty and the floor can be quite dirty at times. But after renovation, it's like much more better, more spacious and uh, much more clean. I feel that uh, the hawker centre now uh, they are much cleaner, of course uh, due to the, all the new tables and uh, new chairs available. Also because uh, it's more spacious, uh, yeah. but the uh, downside of it is of course uh, the price of the food. They tend to be more expensive uh, due to the, of course the, probably the increase in the, the renters, mm. the stores. Yeah. But, uh, the hygiene in hawker centres had improved much from the past. To improve the personal and food hygiene practices, NEA introduced a grading system for eating establishments and food stores. Every store has to meet the basic hygiene requirements. Stores in Singapore are graded A, B, C or D according to their standard of cleanliness. Besides the food stores, the toilets at these hawker centres were also renovated. The repair and refurbishments of these toilets allow consumers to use them at ease. The renovated toilets also support the good hygiene standards that NEA is trying to achieve. The Health Promotional Board also placed posters in the hawker centres to help consumers develop good hygiene habits. In the past, the hawker centres served authentic local foods such as char kway teow, carrot cake and desserts like ice kacang. Today, these foods are still very popular with the crowd. At every hawker centre, you will definitely come across the above-mentioned foods and usually these stalls have long queues forming. These foods are the signature local dishes. However, as time goes by, Singapore's local cuisine opened up its store to embrace foods from other parts of the world. This change is noticeable in the variety of foods served in the hawker centres today. Apart from the popular Hainanese chicken rice, fishball noodles and rojak, we do see that Western food position itself comfortably among the local cuisines in the hawker centres. We do notice that some hawker centres house stalls which sell Thai foods, Korean foods, Indonesian foods and even Japanese foods. As you might say, with a wide variety of cuisines available, Singapore is a food paradise.